Greetings everybody, Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. A lot of banks uh, worldwide are having outages on their computer systems. If you've got a sizable amount of money in the bank, might be a good idea to go to the bank and get some cash and put it in your pocket. You know? All I know is there were people that were rich in 1929, and uh, let's see, I think the crash came on a Thursday. By that Monday, they were penniless. Banks closed. Sorry. We don't have any money to give you. So um, just a suggestion, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a whole salt shaker. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, another thought, you know, there was, uh, today's the 5th, on the 4th, uh, there was, let's see, what was it, Telegram and Instagram and Facebook, fascist book, uh, and all the rest of them were uh, down today for, I don't know, a few hours or whatever. And I, you know, they're making it sound like it was a good thing. But uh, somebody said that nothing happens, uh, who was it, said nothing in politics happens by accident. Nothing. Be honest with you, I think they were testing the internet kill switch. That's my guess. They're testing to see if they can kill the internet. And I suspect they're going to do it with the other platforms. I think it's going to be a rolling thing. You know, they'll try MSN, you know, the Microsoft network. They'll try it on Yahoo, uh, you know, Google, whatever, Facebook. Well, not Facebook. I mean, uh, YouTube. Uh, I think they're just going to see, get every, you know, get everything ready and see, okay, how do we kill the internet? Because they're not going to want everybody talking to everybody when things go, when they decide to pull the plug. And I'm not saying they're going to pull the plug in a you know, few days or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a prophet. And, uh, you know, God didn't send an angel to talk to me. So I don't know. But thing is, when I see things, I always, I, you know, when everybody else is saying what they think is the obvious thing, I'm looking behind the curtain, so to speak. You know, uh, you know when Dorothy was in uh, The Wizard of Oz, you know, she's, oh, pay no attention to that guy behind the curtain. Yeah. Yeah. Who's behind the curtain pulling the strings? Uh, and I'm not saying I'm right, but I'm saying if I was wanting to shut things down, I would want to make sure that my people knew how to do it. And I'd do a test run. You know, so maybe that's why Facebook was down. I don't know. Plus, they had some files that supposedly criminally damning that were supposed to come out today. And the New York nurses were supposed to use Facebook to get together. And, I, you know, I don't know. Things are never what they appear to be. So, but if there are other outages of other platforms, um, there was a guy I knew. Let me tell you a little story. This was years ago. Um, there was a guy I knew, his bank, uh, well, let's see what happened. Somehow his bank account got hacked and the money got sent over sea somewhere. I don't know, Cyprus, Russia, whatever. The money got transferred. He goes to, you know, pay the mortgage. Bank check bounces. Mortgage companies like what? What's going on here? Your check bounced. 
he goes to the bank. The bank says, well, yeah, you made a, an international foreign money transfer, all your money. He's like, what? He said, yeah, you did it. Now, I don't know all the details. All I know is the bank did an investigation. They did, and it took them uh, a long time. I think it was like 60 plus days. I don't remember. It's been a long time. And they were saying, well, it was you, your computer, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. And finally, he got a somebody he knew or somebody he knew who somebody knew or whatever. He had a lawyer write the bank and said, look, take care of this or we're going to court, you know. And you could pay court fees, you know, unless you can prove that he did this. Well, then the bank finally got around to uh, giving him his money back. But in the meantime... Uh, you know, the bank is uh, worth a mortgage for his house. You know, they're tacking on late fees and everything else. And then all his other bills, you know, late fees and not getting paid. And, you know, it was a mess. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, things can happen. Bank can close. You lose your, you know, you lose your money for months when that happens or, you know, there's a lot of possibilities. I'll let you know a little thing that happened to me. Uh, this was about about 20, a little over 20 years ago. I'm in Florida. Dad told me about a bank, I think. I think he did. Yeah. So I go to this bank. And my company demanded I have direct deposit. Demanded. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I don't really like direct deposit, but uh, so I set it up. I start working for a company. I was an over-the-road truck driver. You know, one day you're in Georgia. The next day you're in uh, Alabama. The next day you're in uh, Mississippi. The next day you're in New York, whatever, Pennsylvania, Texas, whatever, all over the place. And um, I go to use my card. You know, I'd only been with the bank maybe, I don't know, four, five, six weeks. Go to use my card. Doesn't work. I'm like, what the? Doesn't work. Nothing. You know, try to use an ATM. Try to buy something. No, no money. Next day, I call the bank. Hey, what's up? Oh, oh, your ATM card doesn't work. Well, yeah, we sent you your new ATM card. We, what we did was, is we changed ATM card accounts or whatever. Uh, they changed the company that manages the ATM cards or whatever. I'm like, dude, wait a minute. You know, I'm, I told him, you know, I'm on the road, blah, blah, blah. Well, we sent the card to your house. I'm like, I'm 2,000 something miles away from my house. I haven't been home in weeks. Well, that's not our problem, you know. I says, can you overnight me a card or something? They're like, get out of here, overnight you a card. You know, I'm like, really? So I had to beg the boss to um, or my dad or somebody to do a Western Union thing for at a truck stop, you know, to get like 50 or $100 until I could, you know, man, what a what a bunch of crap. But you know, if your bank is down, the computer centers down, it's the same thing. You know, so whatever, it's a mess. So, uh, first thing I got home, I uh, went to that bank and closed out that account. I said, you guys suck. Just like the rabbis do at the circumcision. Yeah. And that's a real thing, by the way. So, all right, let's talk about something else. 
And oh, by the way, these, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of Stripe. You know, it's like one of those uh, payment systems. You know, if you got a business, oh yeah, get Stripe. All they got to do is, you know, you put the app on and then you can accept payments for your little business, you know. It's just another thing like PayPal. But Stripe uh, canceled the account they had with uh, one of the uh, web hosting, the video hosting sites. They said, oh, we don't like uh, what your your people on your, your uh, video hosting site are saying. So they canceled them. You know, PayPal, let's say you wanted to buy a, uh, a pistol, a perfectly legal thing to buy, PayPal won't let you do it. Nope, you can't buy a pistol on PayPal. Really? You could buy a dildo, no problem. I'm trying not to be facetious, but, uh, you know, I bet you if you wanted to buy a, uh, a doll, you know, guys, I don't know, some guys get into dolls or whatever, you probably wouldn't have a problem buying that. Uh, if you wanted to buy the Book of Joy of Gay Sex, hey, no problem, we'll sell you, let you buy that. But there's uh, certain things PayPal will not let you purchase. And I hear the big banks are getting into the same thing. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Bank of the USSA. Oh, you can't buy that. No, we don't like that. You know, uh, so maybe it's smart to just have a cash is king. I don't know. I mean, can you imagine that? You go to buy a, a legally a legal thing, and the bank says, no, 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 you can't use your ATM debit card for that. You can't use your credit card for that. Talk about Chinese credit score. I mean, really? You know? Oh, but we can't have cash because cash is dirty. It spreads COVID. Right. All right, let's take a look at something else. Um you know well that's one thing i've i've never really had to worry about having money in the bank so i've never really i don't know that's one problem i've never had having too much money i've known people that had so much money i know people had so much money they were always worried about uh uh dating a girl and the girl would want to marry him just to stay with him a while divorce him for their money i mean that is miserable so oh, i know as the mother of my kids she didn't marry me for my money and she didn't marry me for my looks so she must have actually cared about me which she did but that's irrelevant so all right, let's take a look at something else. All right, let's talk a little bit about that, uh, graphene. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff about graphene in the news lately. It's, um, let's take a look at some characteristics. Now, I'll be honest with you, I, um, Chemistry in college. I signed up for it. I had to drop the class. I was good until we got to the mole. And no, not a little furry creature that burrows under the ground. Uh, my mathematics was just not up to snuff. Plus, I took it during a short summer semester. I should never have done that. You know. But... Uh, Graphene is made from carbon. Anything with carbon, uh, that's what our life forms are based on, carbon. When you take a tree limb and burn it and it turns into ashes, that's carbon. 
that's all that's left pretty much I mean there's some other trace minerals in there but pretty much carbon you know charcoal coal carbon diamonds are carbon graphene is carbon the uh, if you've ever heard the thing about organic chemistry organic as in uh, life anything alive is going to have carbon it's going to be organic and organic chemistry not organic as in not pesticides but organic as in carbon whereas inorganic chemistry is something without carbon something without life you know so if you mixed uh, if you mix sodium and you mix chlorine and put them together you get sodium chloride it's called table salt yeah sodium chloride NaCl um, the interesting thing about carbon on the periodic table of the elements look it up P-E-R-I-O-D-I-C the periodic table of elements carbon is number drum roll number six number six life what is the number of a man well some people will argue with me but I believe Adam was created on the sixth day some people say the eighth day I I don't know I you know so let's take a look at the Bible real quick all right Revelation chapter 13 verse 18 here is wisdom ah here is wisdom I've heard it said the wisdom uh, the difference between knowledge and wisdom is um, knowledge is knowing what something is hey that's a car wisdom is knowing how to drive it or something like that I don't you know what do I know here is wisdom it's you know having knowledge and knowing how to use it properly that's wisdom let him that hath understanding count count the number of the beast and the beast has got different names in uh, John John called it the beast um, Paul called it the uh, the man of sin the son of perdition and I forget somebody else called might have been Paul I'm not sure but uh, the uh, the Antichrist you know there's more than one there's many Antichrists so you got Antichrist man of sin son of perdition the beast all referring to the same entity here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six 666 six 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 what is carbon's number on the periodic table six is that a coincidence you know it makes you wonder really now somebody pointed this out to me today um, and I thank you for it but I don't remember I don't remember who but you'll recognize this if you listen to this uh, according now there are three supposedly if our science is correct there are three parts to an atom you got protons neutrons and electrons electrons supposedly are the outer orbit uh, 
But according to science, carbon has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Six, six, six. I wonder if God knew what he was doing when he, uh, yeah, yeah. The number of a beast, the number of a man, 666, carbon, and graphene, right? Now, I want to, uh, and then you've got, uh, graphene is in the shape of a hex, H-E-X, hexagram, or hexagon. A hexagon six sides you know and what's that little star on the uh, Israeli flag oh yeah six so number of a man right so what else Well, according to science, graphene is the material of the future. It's called God's material. And it's supposed to revolutionize electronics, aerospace industry, energy, and medicine. It's supposed to be 200 times stronger than steel because of the way the atoms bond together. It's supposed to be tougher than a diamond, extremely light, and yet flexible. The structure is similar to a honeycomb. It is conductive. It has high thermal and electrical conductivity. Thermal as in heat. It conducts heat very well. And electrical conductivity, it, you know, it'll transmit electricity. You know, you got uh, copper wires in a house. They transmit, uh, they allow electricity to pass through the copper wire very well. So it conducts heat and electricity. Now, according to that figure it's biocompatible not toxic for biological cells but uh, OSHA has a different uh, opinion if you will yeah and it's supposed to be eco-friendly made of pure carbon like graphite and it's damp proof repels water and corrosion hmm now if you look at this chart on the bottom it says fake news on you know take a look at it uh the thing is, all those, that little graph on the bottom, how can that be true? I don't know. How could that not be true? Oh, and by the way, when they say it's damp proof, it's called uh, hydrogel. That's what they make this stuff. This is incredible. It really is. Uh, I mean, they've been talking about uh, the merging of man and machine for years. Since the 90s when they had Ghost in the Shell. Um, about uh, they would implant people's brains into the cloud, the computer cloud and give them cybernetic bodies. Yes, eternal life by the computer cloud without Jesus. Yeah. So I find it very, 
very interesting that uh, 666 carbon, you know, I, I just, you know, the Bible is just unfolding before our very eyes. You know, the Bible talks about a one world deal. And it's coming to pass, people. It's coming to pass. It really is. They tried to pull this back in the uh, what in the twenties with the League of Nations, but the U.S. was full of Christians then, and they said, "Hey, wait a minute! I've read the Bible. The Bible says one world government's a bad thing. Ooh, no, we're not. No, not just no. Hell no." You ever see Hell No Kitty? Yeah. Hell No Kitty. But, um, so, but things have changed dramatically. And, you know, if we have a one world government, it'll be great, right? No more wars, peace and safety. Where did I read that before? Oh, yeah, Paul said, when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them as woman travail upon it with a child or something along that line. I'm paraphrasing, but I think you get the idea. And somebody that knows the book of Bible, uh, Revelation a lot better than me says, when you start seeing massive die-offs, you will know, I'm, I'm talking massive, you will know the tribulation has started. Yeah. So, and I don't know if you know it, uh, Elijah the prophet is supposed to appear. But the thing is, the uh, the false prophet. Don't be surprised if he claims to be Elijah too. Don't be surprised if there's two guys running around saying that they're both Elijah, and they're both going to be able to do the same miracles that Elijah did back in the Old Testament times. And if you're interested, I got a hour and forty minute video on it. Really. But one of them is going to be proclaiming the false prophet is the Christ. And the other one's going to say, nope, he's an imposter. Repent. The one that says repent, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, that's going to be the real Elijah. So, at least that's how I see it. That's in my educated guess from my years of Bible study. Some people would say I have a boring life because instead of going out to movies and watching the newest television show and checking out Kim Kardashian's newest bathing suit, woo woo, you know, or, uh, or uh, Britney Spears. Uh, isn't that wonderful? Old Britney. Uh, yeah, she got rid of her dad on the conservatorship. And uh, what's one of the first things she does? Posts a nude picture of herself. Yeah. 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 Like uh, Debbie Gibson, what was it, back in the 80s, I think it was, or whatever. Her mother tried to keep her away from the Hollywood whore crowd. And uh, then I heard a bunch of years later, they gave her, I don't know how much, I think it was like 50 grand or something to do a, a spread in Playboy, and I do mean a spread, if you catch my drift. But, uh, you know, maybe it was more. Uh, that's what I heard they get, they got paid back then. I don't know. 50 grand, 100 grand, whatever. You know, I don't know. I wasn't there at the contract signing. But all I know is she could have bought a house for, you know, a photo session. So she became a Hollywood, you know, Hollywood harlot. It rhymes with starlet, right? 
So now Brittany can be, uh, yeah, the same. That's your uh, diversion. Yeah. You know, hopefully her dad was trying to keep her from uh, spending her money on a $1,000 a night uh, Coke uh, binge. You know, you could be broke pretty quick doing a thousand bucks a night in Coke, you know, really quick. So, uh, and that's what we have to look forward to, the Hollywood crowd. And they'll all be telling us, even Christ has come. Uh, I tell you what, when Hollywood and all the rabbis start telling me that the Messiah has come, <laughs> well, let's just say, uh, Chaplain Bob will say, uh, eh, wrong answer. So, what can I tell you? All right, everybody, uh, take care and uh, stay close to Jesus, people. You know, I did a video not too long ago where I said, uh, you know, when the internet goes out, look out. Because I think that's when they're going to round patriots up. That's my guess. That has been the way things have been going in the past. Uh, well, not the internet, but, you know. When the electric goes out and the internet goes out, yeah, maybe they'll blame Iran and start another war. You know, it's like uh, supposedly Saudis nationals uh, hijacked the planes that hit the, the towers, but we attacked Iraq. Yeah, how does that work? Yeah, how does that work? Yeah, uh, okay, you know. But... Uh, well, I think those of you that listen to me, you, you know who was really behind it, but uh, you can't mention that. So, alrighty, well, I've been rambling for 30 minutes plus, and, um, you know, stay close to Jesus, people. Uh, it's getting real. But just know that when we start seeing massive die-offs, and you, we might see that in the next couple of years, you will know probably that's when the uh, the time of Jacob's trouble has started um, supposedly there's like a three and a half year time period leading up to uh, the tribulation called the time of sorrows and then the great tribulation starts three and a half years uh, I think it starts right after the two witnesses are killed and their bodies will lay in the street of Jerusalem for three days, three and a half days, something like that. And that's when the real fun begins. Yeah. Yeah, that's when the real fun begins. So, all righty, everybody. All, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.